Hi friends, welcome back to Pep Talk with Neelam. And as promised in my last episode, I am back with amazing DIYs for all your hair problems. So as promised in my last episode where I told you amazing DIYs for your oily and dry skin. And just in case if you guys missed out that episode, here is the link. I click the eye above and you'll reach to that episode. The one thing that you can trust blindly upon if you have a hair fall problem is a half cut onion. Cut an onion into half and then with the help of a knife, make vertical cuts into it so that the juice oozes out nicely and then apply this the juices either on your scalp or if you have a thin eyebrow problem. Now while applying this onion juice on your scalp, preferably give it a mix along with some henna powder or if you don't want to apply henna, take one portion of onion juice and two portions of water, mix them up well and with the help of a cotton swab, apply it all over your uh, scalp wherever your hair fall is happening. Do this at least twice a week. I know it stinks but trust me friends, if you do this twice a week for a minimum of four weeks, you are going to definitely see the results. The second thing on which every girl has to blindly trust upon for their hair care is aloe vera. Now I here have Patanjali's aloe vera. I take some aloe vera as per my hair length. You can also do the same. Add in some vitamin E capsules which are easily available in the market. Uh, for my hair length, I preferably take uh, two big tablespoons of aloe vera and one capsule of vitamin E, mix them up really well and then start applying it on the hair length starting from the bottom because these are the oldest hair. Work your way upwards. If some of the aloe vera mixture is left, apply it on your scalp. It's so rejuvenating. You will feel the difference when you wash it off the next morning. You can either use a shampoo or you can also wash it off just with plain cold water. Next is a DIY for dry hair. For this DIY of dry hair, you need the following ingredients. Honey has a property to moisten and soften your hair. You can also apply honey on your skin if you're feeling dry on your skin. So honey is a very good moisturizer for your hair. Nut oil has something known as lauric acid which has the tendency to enter into your hair shaft and it works from inside out making it super moist and manageable. Apply all these three ingredients together on your hair. Keep it for minimum 20 minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water. You can also use a shampoo if you want. Do this minimum of three times a week for two weeks and you'll definitely see the results. Number two DIY for dry hair is egg and yogurt mixture. Now for dry hair, we use the egg yolk part and for the oily hair, we use egg white part. So take uh, egg yolk, mix some yogurt into it, give it a good whisk, the mixture would become pale yellow in color. Start apply that, applying that mixture again from the bottom of your hair. Uh, this is the most damaged portion of the hair that we have and this is the most virgin uh, portion of the hair. So we do not need to take care mostly of this portion until unless we have a hair fall or a dandruff problem here. But uh, for frizziness, for dry hair, this is the mainly problem area where split ends happen. So mix up the egg yolks and yogurt and start applying them from bottom up. Do this procedure for minimum of two times a week and you will notice the difference. Now let's talk about DIY for oily hair. The basic thing that you can, you can trust to get rid of oily hair is ACV rinse. That is apple cider vinegar rinse. Apple cider vinegar is easily available in all the general merchants these days. Take half a cup of apple cider vinegar, one and a half cup of water to it because it's really strong. You need to dilute it and then wash off your hair with this mixture. Let your hair sit into that mixture for approximately five to 10 minutes and then give it again a cool, uh, cold water wash. Number two DIY that you can try is taking two egg whites and squeezing half a lemon into it. Lemon cleans oil, we all know that. And again, as told earlier, egg whites have the tendency to stop producing sebum from your scalp. These two ingredients when mixed together will produce amazing results and show uh, less oil production in your hair. 
so thank you guys for watching this video i hope so that this video was also helpful to you as was my last one again i'm uh, requesting all of you to swear by two products for your hair care anytime onion and aloe vera these two are like the products on which you can trust blindly for your hair fall or any uh, most of your hair uh, troubles if you like my video do not forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video with all your loved ones because everybody needs to look pretty this festival season till then take care bye bye